Now I'd like to call Senator Joe Adabo up to say a few words. Thank you, Councilmember Crowley. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. It is an honor to be here. And first, when I have so many veterans in front of me, I'm of a belief that every day is Veterans Day. So to all our veterans, thank you very much for your commitment and dedication and service to our country. Thank you. And really, to be here is to express appreciation on a number of levels, uh, certainly to our veterans. And the fact that, you know, we are in the month of May. It's a great month month of mothers so for all mothers out there happy belated mother's day but we take a moment at the end of the month to appreciate this ultimate sacrifice of our veterans again memorial day and that's why it's so important to be here and again the appreciation that i have that my people my constituents allowed me the opportunity to represent them and work with fine individuals who are also elected officials like council member crowley assembly member mike miller and others who, again, because of their hard work, we're here today to do this renaming. And to work with community leaders like Post 118, my fellow Malloy Stanner, Ed Wendell. You know, to work with community leaders to make sure that the community is great, but once again, that we are able to do this co-renaming. And for me, this co-renaming, when I see this sign, it's going to be a constant reminder, not only of the service and dedication of our veterans here with us, and a memorial to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice who have passed away, but a reminder to me personally of the work we still have to do for the 900,000 veterans in our state in terms of health care and homelessness and suicide rate, the work on every level of government that we still have to do each and every day for our veterans. That's what this co rename is going to mean to me. So again, I am so appreciative of the honor to be able to be here today. Councilmember Crowley, thank you so much. Thank you all.